There's a lot of cancer research worldwide, but not so much when it comes to that disease in dogs. But Cornell University in Ithaca is one of the leaders in that field and may be on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Terry Belke takes us to the outdoors. Cancer robs many lives, and the pain caused by that loss is no less devastating when the life is that of an animal. Cancer in dogs is quite common, and Cornell University in Ithaca is one of the leaders in canine cancer research. We have our veterinary oncology department in the hospital where we work to understand cancer in both dogs and cats, and then we have a variety of researchers on campus that work to understand some of the basic biology of how cancer develops. And then we have a relationship with the medical campus in New York City in terms of how we can use what we know or what we're studying about cancer in people to help dogs and back and forth as well. The increased attention to canine cancer may reflect their growing importance in our daily lives. 68% of American households live with a pet, and that includes almost 90 million dogs. The role of, of pets in our lives and enriching our lives is definitely helping to sort of increase the support for research on their diseases. But I think equally important is sort of that we are recognizing that because those animals live in the same environment as we do, that that also is such an opportunity to learn about things relative to us as well. One of the most aggressive forms of canine cancer is hemangiosarcoma. It's unique to dogs, but can also be found in cats, and it's particularly deadly. Often by the time it's diagnosed, it's too late to treat. The Baker Institute at Cornell is dedicated to research in this field. There's not many people that research hemangiosarcoma because um, even though it's fairly common, it's not as common as, as, as lymphoma in dogs, for example. Unfortunately, this isn't, it's not a very common disease in humans. I think only a few hundred people a year get the analogous disease. And so there's, not, there's very little human research in this area. The Cornell research is crafting a hopeful future. They are close to isolating a biomarker in the blood that could reveal the disease in its early stage. It would just be a, a molecule circulating in the blood that most likely is arising from the tumor or is in response to the tumor. That discovery could bring much needed knowledge to families dealing with this devastating disease. And the owners may decide to put the dog down because they think it's a mangio and it may not be. So, so if there was this, a, a really rapid sort of uh, biomarker that could be used, it would be a really big advantage, I think, for the clinicians and for the owners to get some peace of mind, at least knowing what their dog has. Reporting from Ithaca, New York, taking you to the outdoors, I'm Terry Belke.